Hey all, Kyle here, AA0Z. I'm going to show you how to load Mesh Chat on the Raspberry Pi for the Arden network, so stay tuned. All right, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi, a power supply, and a monitor, keyboard and mouse. Probably not a mouse starting off, but I would suggest getting one of the Pi 4s with at least 4 gig of RAM. Keep in mind the HDMI connector and the power connector are different from the Pi 3 to the Pi 4. So you'll have to buy new HDMI and power connectors for anything Pi 4 related. After you get all of your Raspberry Pi hardware, you're going to have to download an image. I go to raspberrypi.org and click on the software uh, drop down at the top and I navigate down to this page where it says Raspberry Pi OS Lite. As of December 2nd, this was the latest and greatest version 5.4. I hit the download button, it will unzip or uh, it will download a zip file to your computer. You unzip that and then you will flash that to your Raspberry Pi. You can do that multiple ways. Uh, you can search on YouTube how to how to uh, do that. I use uh, Etcher and uh, flash it to the zip drive, and after that it boots up, and I will show you the configurations that I do on a new Raspberry Pi for Arden. So here are some things that I do uh, whenever I have a brand new Raspberry Pi. The first thing I do is I don't plug it into the network. I um, plug it into a monitor, and I'm using putty here, but I plug it into a monitor with a keyboard, and I... Uh, run the Raspbian raspi-config, and that brings me up to this screen, and I go into interface options, and I turn on SSH, and that will enable that service. Uh, then I come down and I click uh, finish here, and there's some other things that you can do in that Raspberry uh, or that uh, uh, Raspi config. Then I SSH into my box, which I've done above here. And you can find out the IP address by typing uh, if config. Pseudo if config. And it tells me my IP address on my local network is 192.168. Dot one dot thirty one. So I SSH into that, and then I do an uh, s uh, sudo app get update. And I've already done this, but it should tell me that uh, there's no updates correct. And then I do a sudo sudo app get upgrade, and that will upgrade all of the packages on my Raspberry Pi. Let's see, what else do I do? Also, you want to change your password. P-A-S-S-W-D and hit enter and it will ask you for your password, which if you haven't changed it, would be Raspberry. And then you want to put in a new password and that will get you up and running initially. Uh, there are some other security things that you need to do. I would probably Google or YouTube those, but um, that will get you up and running for at least the configuration for Mesh Chat. All right, while it's plugged into your Raspberry Pi, is plugged into your local network, uh, while it's got internet access, you want to go to trevorsbench.com and click on the Mesh Chat. I will put a link in the description below. And it will come up to this page. This is the Mesh Chat uh, install page for Arden Networks. And if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, you need to install the API package on at least one of your Arden nodes so it can query all the rest of the nodes. And you point your Raspberry Pi to that node uh, to query and to sync all the messages. So make sure before you, you configure your Raspberry Pi that uh, you've loaded this API package on your Arden node 
and you will point your Raspberry Pi to your uh, Arden node so it can sync. And if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, there is some instructions on how to install it for Raspberry Pi. So we're going to take this sudo apt-get install curl Apache 2 and copy that. And we're going to paste that directly into PuTTY. And we're going to let it do its thing here. Hit yes to accept. After that is done, we want to come down and get the latest update or install package. So we're going to do that as sudo. Okay. That downloaded to our home drive here. So now we want to dpkg that Debian file. Oh, I got a sudo. Don't forget to sudo that uh, command and it is currently installed. All right, once that is installed, you want to change a couple of lines in this mesh chat config.pm. So that is located at user lib CGI bin. And there are the there's the file that I want to edit. So I'm gonna go sudo nano mesh chat config.pm. Alright, so here is the file you want to edit. And the only things you need to edit is you need to put in the correct zone. So minus STL Metro chat. And the local node is should be kept as local node. So it looks like you're only going to change one line. And then I'm going to write that file. And then I'm going to restart my Pi to make sure that all of my um, services resync here. All right, after you've plugged in your Pi to your Arden node, you want to log into your Arden node. And you can see here, it gave my Raspberry Pi, which I have renamed to AA0Z Pi, an IP address of 10.4.221.58. So I'm going to add that to the DHC preservation uh, database. And I'm going to hit Save Changes so that takes effect. And now I'm going to set up the advertised service for Mesh Chat. So in the name, I'm going to use the same zone name that I want to connect to. So STL Metro Chat. I want to make it a link. It is an HTTP link. And then here, I want to choose the correct node that that service is running on, which is my Raspberry Pi. So that's AA0Z Pi. It runs on port 80 and the... Uh, URL is, or the folder is mesh chat. And I want to add that. And I want to save changes. And now your mesh chat is publicized or an advertised service on your node. After you have all of that configured, you should be able to come over here to node status and click on mesh status and see it as an advertised service. There it is, STL Metro Chat. If I click on that, it is going to ask you to log in, AA0Z, log in. And there is all of uh, mesh chat in its glory here. And you can come up here to status and it uh, shows that I am Syncing with uh, AE0ME, KE0ZU, and nine, uh, not N9RZR. So if I come in here to chat and say, 
testing again from my node and hit send, it will send this message. And if I click on, let's say we're going to click on um, this mess chat, which is Mark's, and I'm going to log in over at Mark's mess chat. I should be able to see, yep, there is my test message that I just sent. So this is Mark's node, and here is... Oh, this is Mark's node. Here is my node. So that is how you set up Mesh Chat on the Raspberry Pi. If you have any comments or questions or um, have uh, trouble with the install, just uh, put your comments below. Hit uh, the like and subscribe button, and uh, we will see you on the Arden Network.